Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you a project that I made last year when I was younger. I always saw these videos of people making uh, game cubes and stuff into portables. It always really inspired me that people were able to put such good hardware and things that I love to play <laughs> into just portable forms. But I didn't know how to get started. So, and then I started seeing people do this with Raspberry Pis and the notion that Raspberry Pis are like easy to use and all that. So like it kind of got me into looking on how to. But I always saw them using Raspberry Pi Zeros instead of the Threes, which were a lot more powerful and played more games that I would like to play. And I started looking around and I found a tutorial of... Adafruit's Raspberry Pi 1 and their Super Pi Boy so I started to look at that and I realized there's had one joystick four buttons and two shoulder buttons the games I would want to play like PS1 Nintendo 64 need more than that so what I ended up doing is I took their design added two extra buttons like two extra shoulder buttons volume buttons, a headphone jack that I never fully implemented, <laughs> and another joystick and a d-pad. For me that d-pad is like a, a need <laughs> for all of the games. But yeah, it took me about three months to design the Thick Boy. It started off with uh, just tutorials, and there's also had a bunch of just random screws all over the back it looked really messy so I ended up just putting it all in the inside instead but um, the joysticks I never fully calibrated at all like it it works but it drifts and crap and I'll fix it one day in the settings but to uh, power the controls that I have I used a teensy LC and I power it with three 18650s at 3200 milliamp, which gives it a few hours of gameplay. And, um, but yeah, the, the joystick issue, I, I really need to fix that because I can't play uh, Nintendo 64. But there's a whole bunch of PS1 games I never got to play that I could play on this. And also another issue with the audio, it slowly gets louder with feedback, which I don't know how to fix, and I'll fix it maybe one day. And also the uh, screen is 800 by 600 with a 5 inch. But uh, overall, for something that I made when I was 16 and I didn't know anything I was just, I didn't know how to solder, I didn't know how to 3D model at all, I didn't know how to script at all for Arduino, for something that I just like picked up, made in three months, I think it turned out great. And for the rest of the video, you guys will just see maybe some gameplay. I'll see you dudes later.